What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> um, it's been five months. For a long time. Five months. So we're back. Just wanted to jump on to give you a bit of an explanation, I guess. Yeah, we've, uh, we haven't posted a video for like five months. Uh, we've been really busy. Oh, yeah, no. We are still together. Yeah, we are still together. We haven't broken up. Um, <laughs> if you do <laughs> if you, if you do want an update on our, like, what's been going on, on our relationship. in more depth, like, maybe we can do a Q&A at some point if anyone actually wants to watch that. But A few people commented, <laughs> though, have you broken up? Yeah, no, we haven't. Yes. <laughs> no. No, but yeah, we've... We're um, good. We're yeah. all good. We're all good. So we will provide you with an update on everything else if you would like. And we are going away soon to Portugal. Yes. Um, we will get a video out for that as well. Yeah. Yeah. The last time, last video we posted, obviously, Adam bought a van and thinking about converting it. But yeah, we've literally been so busy. Um, so much been going on. Adam's been at hockey and we just haven't really had time to do anything. Also, I'm going through a career change and had to do lots of interviews and exams and I'm still pushing, so it's going to be a long-term thing. But obviously editing takes up a lot of time and I haven't had the time to do that either. So hopefully we're back now for some regular updates now the van conversion has kicked in because that had a bit of delay also, didn't it? We're also in the middle of selling the house. We're moving out next week, so um, <laughs> <laughs> we've had that on as well. Um, we were hoping to get someone to convert the van for us so that we could just move straight into a van and go full-time van life, but just be messed around by a few things, by a few people. So I decided, well, my grandfather pushed me actually, and Katie, um, I decided to do it myself, which means it's going to take a lot longer and the van's not ready. Um, <laughs> so that's where we're at. But it's more of an exciting journey and I think, I don't know, I'm quite proud he's decided to do it himself because... He was like, no, I can't do that. But they're making good progress and it'll be cool to give you guys some updates and then, you know, if you do get stuck, there's always people out there to help. Without delaying any further, cut to your, cut your to my video. video. <laughs> so I just thought I'd take you through everything that I've done so far. Um, I've, I've not really filmed as much as I would have liked on this camera. Um, you can follow us on, well, the, all the shorts will be up because um, I've been filming on my phone quite a lot and then they're also up on TikTok so if you want to give us a follow on there you can sort of follow along with all the little details and all the the, um, the little projects that we're doing. The van conversion is actually really time consuming. I'm trying to fit it in between between work and then between ice hockey and it's 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 quite tough to so like every hour possible that I have I'm just trying to like do something on the van. So as I hop into the back of the van now I'll just show you guys around and show you what I've done. I had to treat the floor, um, all the rust and stuff like that, and the, the nails that were hanging out. I had to red, ox red oxide the floor and then wait for that to dry and then put a layer of white hamrite paint on so it was nice and white then. Uh, not that you'll be able to see um, once we start building on top of it, but it's just for me to know that when we do start building on top of it, that um, there shouldn't be any more rust underneath. and. It, it just sort of will help protect the, the bottom layer of the van, that's all. Tough angle this, but then we started sound deadening the roof. You might not be able to hear it very well, but oh, actually I can hear that pretty well. So this is like really loud and then this one sounds dead, so that's good. The sound deadening is doing its job. And then I sound deadened these bad boys, the wheel arches, and I actually managed to put a layer of um, insulation on there and then foil, aluminium foil tape all around the edges which was nice. Here's the two windows that we put in as well. We've got a, like a, a blind to go over this, um, like a blackout blind and then a fly screen. <laughs> then as you can see behind me right here well, we've managed to insulate the walls of the van and the doors, the back doors and the sliding door. Uh, so we use this 50 mil PIR board, which is really good. The R rating on them is really, really high, which means that we should be warm in the winter um, with it being 50 mil nice and thick. If you see this, but on this side, right, so we sort of measured it. Um, 
there's like a little gap up here which I can just fill with like a, like a spray foam insulation. But then on this side, you notice the job I did, right? So what we did was, if you can just see right in there, we cut it up to there and then we put like a 45 degree angle um, on the saw. And oh my God, it looks like a way better fit. If you can see that, it just fits so much better than this side. Cause we've got that gap up there. And then this side, it, I came up with a bright idea. Like, you know, there's only, it's only on that panel and that panel, even that panel has the gap. You can see the gap up here. So I came up with that bright idea a little late, um, but it's in now. So there's no point in wasting money and redoing it. We'll just fill it with um, that spray foam insulation. And then in this gap here, I'm just gonna put this 50 mil um, recycled plastic insulation. Um, it'll be a bit nicer in there to not have to put this 50 mil PIR board. It'd be a bit, bit of an easier job for me. We use this Dodo mat, um, Thermal Liner Pro. It's 10 mil um, on these side doors and the back doors. Actually, I use the same thing on the wheel arches. And I put some, I, you probably won't be able to see because of the light. Let me see if I get some light in here. There. We put it up there as well. The product we used to sound deaden was the um, Dodo Matte Sound Deaden. This stuff's actually really easy to fit. It's like an adhesive back on it as well. You just take that little paper off. Um, same with the insulation that we used there. The Dodo Matte Thermal Liner Pro, the 10 mil stuff. It's adhesive backed, so you just take it off and stick it on. Way easier than having to cut all these awkward bits um, on this PIR board because it's like really awkward and it just makes so much mess. It's crazy. This back right barn door wasn't um, locking, so after like some serious inspection, I had a locksmith come out. Um, he couldn't fix it, so we managed to. We managed to sort of get into all of this area here, took all this off and we sort of found and realised that um, whoever put this door on, maybe it, maybe it's like a, a door from another van, maybe it was in an accident or something, I don't know. Might be the right, might be the same door, but someone had s snipped all the wires um, and that's why it wasn't locking, so we had to rewire it all, which was a hell of a job. Managed to fit a reverse light camera as well, which is really good. I'll show you, it's absolutely pissing down again. So we've got the reverse camera um, screen up here. I'll turn it on now and show you how it looks. So there's no signal and then it turns off into a black screen, but then when you put it into reverse, there you go, you can see these things actually don't work at all. They don't move, so I don't know. Don't know what that's about, but it works. Being such a big van, um, it's quite hard to park. The beepers, to be fair, do a really good job, but it just helps and gives me that little bit of um, sort of safety net, I guess, using using the reverse camera. We've done a few other bits and bobs on the van, like changed some lights, and I gotta say, my grandfather has been so helpful. Like he literally has every single tool. Um, I'm just like, oh, I've seen someone doing this on TikTok and they use this. So he's like, yep, got that tool. Um, he's been so handy. Um, I'm not much of a handyman myself. All I ever did, so I, I worked as a plumber years and years and years ago, and I pretty much just handed the guy tools. He taught me a lot, like I can solder a little bit, did some pipe work and stuff for him. But as far as like when it comes to like electrics or just, just anything really, um, it's... I have to YouTube or TikTok it just to sort of understand what I'm doing. It's going to put me way out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I don't feel comfortable doing all this stuff. Um, that's why it's so nice having my grandfather around. He's so helpful. Um, even my nan, actually. My nan, bless her, she's like, she makes us lunch. She makes us cups of tea, constant cups of tea. It's so nice having her around as well. But hopefully we can get some more content out for you. Um, I'm trying to film as much as I can, but like I said, uh, there'll be tons of shorts up. They'll be on TikTok, but we just convert them over to shorts. Hopefully I can do a video like this, like once a week or once every two weeks, just to sort of catch up and give you guys an insight, a bit more of an insight into 
um, what we're doing on the van and what our plans are. The next thing on the agenda I'm actually going to start today is pre-wiring, uh, something that I have no clue what I'm doing, but luckily um, we had a, I'm going to say this wrong, I say this wrong all the time, a schematic or a schematic uh, review with this company called Roma. Roma are the electrical, also they, they supply the battery for us and all the electrics, um, the Victron stuff, um, they sent the cabling, the solar panels, they sent everything. So yeah, that we're gonna. I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to start that today. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a job I've been dreading. But I'll and I'll pop it up on the screen now. They sent like um, a, a schematic of what goes where. Basically, they make it simple and make it easy. So we'll see how easy that is. Um, but yeah, today's job is now pre-wiring. But I hope you guys enjoy watching and you're gonna follow along for the rest of the van build. Um, as much as this is so daunting to me and it's it's testing my patience and it's going to be hard um, we're going to battle through and I'm going to try and finish it I might have some help here and there on a few things like the water system um, the underslung water tanks I don't really want to go underneath the van myself uh, the diesel heater maybe um, and then probably some of the carpentry so yeah it's going to be it's going to be a challenge but I'm really looking forward to it um, so hopefully you guys can follow along with the rest of the van build and uh, thank you for watching and as always peace the top was the dodo